Hey there guys, Retro Robbie here, doing a live video for you. Usually I don't do these a lot, but this is kind of a special kind of video, so I figured, eh, what the heck. And I think my channel should have more live videos, so with that being said, what exactly are you looking at? Well, for a lot of people, a lot of retro players like myself should know what this actually is. This is the Action Replay Plus for the Sega Saturn. Yes, Sega Saturn did have cartridges, but, but it was like both cartridge and CD. This one's a really special one, though. This one lets you play games that are outside the U.S. region or games you want to play, like backup games. Like, say you burn it to, burn it to a CD and stuff, and um, you wanted to play a backup copy of it. Well, the problem is, is that if you don't have this cartridge, you, you wouldn't be able to do that. So... So like here, I have a Saturn disc I'll show you. It was the, one of the bootleg copies. Here's what a actual Sega Saturn disc looks like. Right there. That's like a, that's a Sega Saturn disc. It's licensed, so you really wouldn't need that to be filmed to, to, play, on, to play on the Sega Saturn. Sorry, ugh. Can't talk today. But, so... But if you wanted to play a burn game, say for example, let's say you had a game, a game on that, just a plain old CD, CD minus R, may I add. Now, if you had a game on there, but you didn't have that, and you put it in there, it would only play as an audio CD. So, for example, I'm actually going to put this disc in, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And then, then we're going to put the cartridge in, and then we're going to see what the difference is, okay? So, with that being said, let's get started. So, what happens when you put a regular Sega Saturn game in? If you just put a regular Saturn game in, it's just going to boot up normally, like it usually would. Because there, because Saturn's had a lockout chip, meaning that if you uh, made a burn copy of anything or played out of the U.S. region, you wouldn't get to play any play any games. So yeah, so it just boots up like normal, and then you can just just play a game. So this is a licensed Sega Saturn game, just a demo disc. But let's see what happens when you put in a burn copy game into the Saturn without the cartridge. This is what's going to happen next. So again, it's going to boot up like normal. So it looks fine right now, right? But then you have this that comes up. And unfortunately, it's just, like I said before, it's just an audio CD. Which, it, you can't play music. I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but the problem is, is that... <laughs> it's basically all the music in the game. Bas it's, it, I, I'm sure people can know what the, so the songs are in this game. It's Sonic R. But that's all it's gonna do. Like you won't get to play the game. But you, you can. But if you didn't. If, but if you just wanted to listen to the music, I mean, that's all you can really do. <laughs> so we'll stop that. But so, what do you do at this point? Well, this is where the cartridge comes into play. The action replay cartridge. So I'm gonna put it. Put that in next, and then we're gonna see what happens. So again, it's gonna boot up. But. There's going to be one small difference. You're going to be prompted to this screen called the Presto Saturn. Ver version doesn't matter. And you're going to have three options. Either start the game, refresh, EAR, or credits. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit the A button and start a game. It's gonna load the disc, and lo and behold, you get you go through the mod chip, or not the mod chip, the the security chip, which I like to call it. 
And it, man, the game just runs normally. And that's a burnt copy of Sonic R. And voila. And you can play it just like you, you would play if you actually had bought the actual game.